Good evening, I'm meteorologist Karen Williams and all across the Delta is very clear right now and our temperatures absolutely a gorgeous day outside just a little bit warm up in the low 90s we have a few showers and thunderstorms that are beginning to develop down to our south in louisiana but that's going to stay down in that direction i'll have your complete forecast coming up as the delta news at 10 weekend edition starts now news that works for you this is the delta news at 10. Well, Tamara, we have mainly clear skies outside. It is pretty warm outside. In fact, it's not humid. It's very, very nice outside. We'll have your outdoor forecast after the break. Looking at our regional radar, you can see we have this stalled front that's down to the front that's down here on the coast. And what's going to happen is later on into Monday, it's a possibility it's going to kind of back up. It's going to serve as a backdoor front. And what that's going to allow for is some areas will see some isolated showers. And not everybody's going to see that. Again, you see some showers that are beginning to develop down to our south, just south of Jackson and Vicksburg and parts of Louisiana. But for us here in the immediate delta, it's still dry outside. Now, looking at that outdoor forecast, by 7 a.m., we'll have plenty of sunshine, 73 degrees. 1 p.m., 91 degrees. It will be a little warmer. And then by 7 p.m., 89 degrees. Now, right now in Greenwood, it's 74 degrees with an east-northeast wind, 3 miles per hour. That humidity at 85 percent, the humidity at 69 degrees, and that barometric pressure is, is at 30.12 inches. Greenville's at 76 with the east wind, 6 miles per hour. Humidity at 71 percent, and that dew point at 66 degrees. Now, looking at our forecast lows for tonight, it'll be in the upper 60s. We'll get one more day of the upper 60s to low 70s before things start to get a little warmer and that'll be later in the week. We're looking at Yazoo City at 67 degrees along with Belzona and 67 for Indianola, 70 for Clarksdale. As we widen out the view regionally, we're looking at pretty much the temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. We're looking at Dallas at 85 degrees, 82 for Houston. 72 for Corinth and 73 in Nashville and Knoxville is at 68 degrees and they're seeing a little bit of a shower disturbance and that's what I was referring to. That's going to kind of back up into the area. Now looking at the future cast again, that's the back door front that I was talking about early Monday into Tuesday possibility of showers, but I think this model is a little bit overdone. I think if anything, the showers will probably stay to the east. One or two might creep in, but I don't think here in the immediate Greenville area, we won't see those showers. If anything, it'll be a sprinkle. Looking at the temperatures throughout the nation, you can pretty much most of the warm temperatures temperatures are in the middle of the country other than 48 degrees in West Yellowstone. So it's still feeling a bit brisk there. Now looking ahead here and as we advance, we're looking at, and it looks like I'm getting stuck here, but here we go. Temperature trend ahead, we're running ahead than what we should be. We should be around 90 degrees. We're going to be well above that with the exception of Tuesday. That'll be 89 degrees. We won't have any chances for showers. And then looking at the Mississippi River, we're below flood stage 45 is the reading, and then we'll be down to about 40.6 by the end of the week. For the Yazoo River, we will be down to 21.9 that is the projection now looking at your forecast for tonight mostly clear and pleasant 69 degrees and then for tomorrow it's going to shape up like this let me hit it manually here there we go sunny skies will be breezy 94 degrees so it will be warmer and then looking at that seven day forecast it's going to be shaping up let me hit it one more time here maybe not but we're going to look at it this way let me just do it manually. This is what we're going to do. Let's go. Anyway, take my word for it, folks. We're going to be dry throughout the rest of the week. We won't have a chance for showers until about Sunday. 
Let me see one more time here. Last try. There we go. It's dead. So <laughs> oh, take no. my word for it. We're going to try to get that to you by the end of the show. Let's just go to our pictures right now. We're just going to pretend that just didn't. There you go. See? See? <laughs> Dry and sunny, just yeah, like you said, dry Karen. Dry and sunny. It was easy enough. <laughs> Checked All right, out. We're going to go right to the pictures right now. Now, looking ahead here, we're, we got the first picture here. That is oh, from Irene Minton. That's a vivid sky there. Thank you very much, Irene. And then the next one that we have oh, is nice. from Vicki Kimball. That's a partly cloudy day. Very Thank pretty. you very much. Yeah, all the clouds. And the next two that we have oh, are nice. from Karen Branch. It's sunset wow. after the rain and the cumulus clouds part two. Very so nice. right off yeah, the sequel. highway, right <laughs> off the highway there. Love it. And then the next picture that we have is from Mary Parker. Oh, very That's pretty. the cumulonimbus clouds here. Nice. And then we also have from Shakira oh, Ware. We have an early AM sunrise, puffy clouds by the highway, and the stratocumulus clouds <laughs> overhead. Thank you, Shakira. And then our last two, oh, last nice. picture that we have is from Randolph, and that is the West Renova sunset from today. So very thank you too. very much one and all. And if you have any pictures that you would like to share with us, we'll do our best to get that on to you, but you can send it to kwilliams at deltanews.tv and we'll do our best to show your pictures, your handiwork. Thank you everyone. Yes, definitely.